Hey Salam, I hope you guys do well. Halal Chef is back for another video and this time I'm making Sunday Roast. Sunday Roast is a traditional British meal that is typically served on a Sunday. It consists of a full roast chicken served with roasted potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, vegetables and a mouth-watering gravy. I'm also gonna serve it with a bit of the mashed potatoes and stuffing. It is one of those meals that bring back a lot of memories and it's a really heartwarming dish. If you haven't tried Sunday roast before, this is the perfect time to try. Trust me, you're really gonna enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first we're gonna start with our chicken. You want to dry the chicken and get rid of any moisture. This will give us a nice crispy skin and a great color. Now we're going to apply some sunflower or olive oil. Make sure to cover all parts of the chicken and massage it properly. Now you could also apply some butter, you know, stuff some butter under the skin. But I like to apply the butter at the end. Alright, now we're gonna season it. We're gonna keep it very simple because we're gonna have a lot of flavors. A good touch of salt. Try to throw it from the top. So this will cover all parts of the chicken. So good touch of the freshly grounded black pepper. Also season it from inside. You also want to stuff the chicken. I'm just gonna add some fresh thyme. There was some of this onion, fresh garlic, and finally some lemon. Now I'm gonna seal off the chicken using some toothpicks. If you got some budget thread, you could use that. All right, now the chicken goes into a preheated oven at 220 Celsius for around 25 minutes. And then we're gonna reduce the temperature down to 180 Celsius. And we're gonna let this cook for around 30 to 35 minutes until the internal temperature reaches 75 Celsius. Now it's very important you preheat your oven. For our roast potatoes, I'm gonna show you an easy way of making them and they will still be crispy. We're gonna flavor this with a bit of the garlic. A touch of the smoked paprika. A good touch of the sea salt. Freshly grounded black pepper with the flour to make the exterior nice and crispy. Now give that a really good mix. Now with a good touch of the sunflower or olive oil. Oil is what's gonna really help in roasting those potatoes. You know, get a nice golden brown color on them. Now you want to place the potatoes in a baking tray and you want to roast them in a preheated oven at 230 Celsius for around 35 to 40 minutes until nice crispy golden brown. Make sure to turn them halfway. Our amazing crispy roast potatoes, done. Add some fresh thyme on there. Touch of the salt. For our amazing Yorkshire puddings, here with the flour, good touch of salt in there. Adding the butter, here with the milk. Cracking four medium or three large eggs. Break the egg yolks and mix until nice and smooth. Exactly what we're looking for. Now grab your bun tray and you want to spread some oil into each section of the tray. Throw this in the hot oven until the oil and the tray gets nice and hot. Now carefully remove it from the oven and pour the batter equally between the holes of the tin. Now return the tray back in the oven and cook for around 25 to 30 minutes until nice and golden brown. The temperature needs to be around 220 Celsius. You will notice the Yorkshire puddings will slowly start to rise. Our amazing Yorkshire puddings. Done. Trust me, they look mouth-watering. I can't wait to taste them. For our creamy mashed potatoes, in with the boiled potatoes. With the help of a masher, you want to mash the potatoes until nice and smooth. I'm using Maris Piper potatoes. It has the fluffy texture that we are after. Now to make them even more silky smooth, we're gonna pass them through a fine sieve. Or the potatoes are nice and smooth now. It with a cream and our melted butter. Give that a mix. Season with a good touch of salt and black pepper. Give that a mix again. Just have a look at that. So nice and creamy. It just melts in your mouth. Our beautiful creamy mashed potato. Done. It looks amazing. You can see the potatoes have the perfect consistency. So nice and smooth and the texture is perfectly creamy. Now for your vegetables you can either steam, boil or roast them you know. I like them steamed. This way they are more nutritious. Touch of the salt on there. I'm gonna glaze them with a touch of the stock. Our amazing glazed vegetables, done. Or I guess our roast chicken is done. Now let the chicken rest for around 10 minutes. It's like I'm operating on the chicken. <laughs> Just gonna remove the lemon. Also your uh, onion and the garlic, which we're gonna use in our sauce. 
for the sauce turn up the heat around low medium here with the butter and flour we call this roux you want to cook this for around two minutes until completely cooked or now you want to slowly mix in the stock also mix in the juices from the chicken mix in the roasted garlic and season with a good touch of salt pepper make so you want to let it simmer for around five minutes our mouth watching gravy done I'm also serving our roast chicken with a bit of the sage and onion stuffing. They would be amazing with our Sunday roast. Alright guys, let's plate this up and with your chicken, serving with our vegetables, our creamy mash, roasted potatoes, Yorkshire puddings. Alright guys, I'm gonna try this. It looks amazing. Let's try our creamy mashed potato first. Still so creamy. Bismillah. Mmm, I love the mashed potatoes along with the vegetables, you know. It's one of my favorites. Like I said, brings back a lot of memories. Mmm, right, let's try this chicken now. Bismillah. Mmm, wow. I took the part of the breast. It's still so nice and juicy. And when you take a bite of the mesh along with the chicken, oh man, look at our amazing Yorkshire puddings. Mmm. I just want to say that everything complements each other so well. It's one of the best dishes ever, trust me. That was so delicious. I really enjoyed it. Can you please do me a favor and like this video? I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like, and shall I see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom, make for your dad, make for your family. Enjoy.